On the other side of the intersection, they're building the Arncliffe Pedestrian Tunnel. It'll be 25 metres long and maybe six metres across. It's an important project because until now, the only way for pedestrians to get from one side of the Illawarra rail line to the other was a narrow footpath, maybe a metre wide and only on the south side of this very tight road tunnel. And around here, they're building high-rise apartments for tens of thousands more residents. So obviously there's going to be a dramatic increase in pedestrian traffic. The only problem is the cost, a staggering $17 million. The original artist's impression depicts the tunnel as a bit over four metres wide, with broad entry plazas enclosed by head and wing walls. But with construction underway, the design has been greatly simplified. The tunnel appears to be a little wider, maybe six metres, but that may be just poetic licence. Whatever. The whole thing is 35 metres long and about 25 metres is enclosed. The tunnel was a 2011 Liberal election promise and the new Baird government reckoned it would cost five million. But Rockdale Council wanted a straighter road and a much wider rail bridge with footpaths on either side of the road and their estimate was 10 million. With the 2015 elections approaching and the local Liberal MP John Flowers under threat Roads Minister Duncan Gay announced he was going it alone and throwing 17 million at the project. Alas, Flowers lost his seat. Welcome to the wacky world of New South Wales infrastructure procurement. In the real world, unlike Beardland, 17 mil gets you a lot of stuff. You can buy a whole fleet of Rolls Royce Phantoms, 35 of them for 17 mil. Or what about a Learjet? You can buy one of these and still have 4 mil in change to pay for the hangar, the pilot, the avgas and a trophy wife. And you can buy a very acceptable brand new 40 metre luxury cruiser for 17 mil. Feel like going into real estate development? 17 mil gets you a whole entire project with two levels of underground car parking two levels of commercial and seven storeys of luxury apartments. But in Beardland, all 17 mil gets you is a 25 metre pipe under a railway embankment. But enough of airhead examples. What about public infrastructure stuff? Step out of Beardland and into any other jurisdiction and see what they get for their money. In the city of Sydney's Sydney Park, they're finishing the city's larger stormwater recycling scheme and a major upgrade of the park's facilities and it's only costing 10.5 mil. In Beardland that doesn't get you even 16 metres of 4 metre diameter pedestrian tunnel. In Victoria 15 mil got the taxpayers an entire new selective high school for 200 plus students. Imagine what that would do for a country town. 15 mil also got the Victorian taxpayer a major bioresources centre at Austin Hospital. In Queensland, 16 million buys a regional hospital upgrade, including an extra 56 private patient rooms with ensuite. In Perth, 17 mil gets a complete GPS tracking system for 1,100 buses, and in Darwin, the taxpayer scores a four-lane road rail overpass, the whole structure is a kilometre long, for 17 mil. Let's look at this another way. If you include the Arncliffe Tunnel's wing walls, the whole shebang is just 35 metres long. That means this tiny structure is costing $486,000 a metre. The Anzac Bridge, eight lanes plus pedestrian and cycle path, came in for the same price per metre. And the mighty Sydney Harbour Bridge, 
eight lanes, two rail tracks, plus pedestrian and cycle paths, was cheaper than the Arncliffe Tunnel at only 467000 a metre in today's dollars. You think I'm comparing apples with oranges? Then let's talk tunnels. The Airport Rail Line Tunnel, over 9 metres in diameter, cost just $133,000 a metre in today's dollars, and that included stations, track, signalling and power supply. Or what about Dulles International Airport's Walkback Tunnel, completed in 2001? It's four times as wide as the Arncliffe Pedestrian Tunnel, and it passes four and a half metres under the main taxiway. It's 250 metres long and it includes moving footways and it came in for just 22 million in today's Australian dollars. That's just $88,000 a metre. As a construction task, it was also far more challenging. And then there's Le Tube in Lyon, France, completed in 2013. It's 1,763 metres long and 10 metres wide with separate cycle and walkways and a lane for buses. And it has a permanent light and sound show. All this, and it came in for 233,000 a metre, less than half the per metre cost of the Arncliffe Tunnel. Is it really credible that a short tunnel under a railway embankment could cost more than an entire new high school, as much as 35 Rolls Royces, and more per metre than the Sydney Harbour Bridge? Or is Duncan Gay just careless with your money? You be the judge. <laughs>